dandelions are here, which means spring is here, which means perishables are here. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, what up? My name is Melissa and we talk about everything. Today we're gonna to be talking about what is in this box. Today's video is all about perishables, um, all fruit for that matter. And this is a box from TNT Seeds. They are a local greenhouse slash nursery here in Winnipeg, Manitoba, just on the outskirts of Winnipeg. David and I often buy most of our perennials and annuals there, but they have literally everything. House plants, um, seedlings, seeds, trees, shrubs, fruit trees, anything that you can think of, they have. Don't forget to shop around your area and shop local for sure. This is a company that we've been using for a very long time. This time I decided to get all of our perishables shipped to us, although I ordered quite a bit. I'll actually put the invoice right on the screen here of what we ordered. I'm pretty sure I ordered like 10 different things um, and they either come half grown or in bulbs, etc. Um, so this box doesn't seem like it's uh, the only one, but we will see. So let's open it up and see what's in here. I will be putting the price of each one on the screen for you guys, but the total amount that we had spent was $158.59, that is Canadian. And on the invoice here, basically it just tells you what you bought, how much it was, and then it goes into detail on each variety and how to care for them, how to plant them, how to deal with them as of now. There is a little bit of a process, but it's nothing that we can't handle. All right, so let's just take each one out. So here we have the Boreal Blizzard Hass Caps. So here is that. So if you don't know what a Hass Cap is, this will be a little bit of a learning experience. A Hass Cap is a berry, it's like a cross between, I don't know, a grape and a blueberry maybe. They are oval in size, they're a little bit bigger, and they are like tart. Um, not very many people carry them, um, especially in Manitoba, like at farmer's markets or even in the stores, because their life isn't that long. Um, the shrub blooms is probably one of the first um, perishable fruit tree shrub that will bloom and then produce berries and then they're gone. Although last year, we already have like four of these plants. Last year we got such a great harvest every weekend for like a month and a half. It felt like we were coming back to the country and seeing more and more berries and Heidi loved it. So I decided to buy more. <laughs> I believe I bought two more. Yeah, so there are two of these. They are just in nursery pots with soil um, and then they kind of just like wrapped them. I'm not gonna undo them fully. There are more instructions on the invoice on what to do with each of these because they are alive and they're not planted yet. We'll have to figure out what to do with that, but this video is just going to be an unboxing. Also, this video is not sponsored at all. So these are raspberries. Um, all right, I got five of them. I got five raspberries. Are these also raspberries? Oh no, okay. Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> All right, so I believe there's five here. One, two, three, four, five. So as you can see, there's five sticks. This is how it's packaged. It looks like it's packaged. I'm just gonna open it just a little bit. Um, it's in like a sphagnum moss, um, kind of like a cocoa core, and then wrapped in plastic, and then this is to seal it. So the main purpose of buying all these were for pretty much the grapes. Um, me and David grow our own grapes, make our own wine, etc. Um, and we always try to find new varieties. Last year I was too slow on ordering, so we didn't get the new varieties. So this one is an emerald ice grape. <laughs> I'm literally standing. This is an emerald ice um, grape. So that is exciting. I'm pretty sure there's a couple other ones. I'm very impressed like how they packaged this, but okay, these, oh, these are exciting. Okay, so these are our, they are kiwis. <laughs> you can actually see the growth um, in there. So there is actually already growth, which is so amazing. I'm gonna be making a whole other video on our zone four planter that we're building in zone three. Um, this is actually technically a zone four, I think? It's between two and four, um, but it is a vining kiwi. So this is the female. This is the female. 
Uh, there's two females. Shouldn't there be a male? <laughs> Two females and a male, basically you need that for them to pollinate. There is also growth there. Um, I'm not gonna unwrap these like I already said because I'm gonna wait for that um, for the weekend. So yeah, those are kiwis. They are an arctic kiwi. They're a little tiny kiwis that vine. So we have a perfect spot for those in our front south facing planter in the country. So those were what David was very excited about. And then we have a few more grapes. So this is a summer set grape. I believe this one was a white grape. And this is a front, a Blanc Frontenac grape. So again, they are kind of, the roots are wrapped up very nicely. Um, so we're, I'm, there's even a bud on this one. Wow, I'm so excited for all this. And then the last one is a Louis Swenson grape. Obviously I'll put uh, pictures on the screen, but that is what that is. So I'm very excited for my little haul here. We have like four grapes. We have the two has cap. And then we have the three kiwis. Oh, and two raspberries. So I'm super excited to plant these. Um, if you don't already know, we are in Manitoba, which is zone three, but where we live in the country, it is on the cusp of zone two, and we will be planting all of these there. Very excited. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button because I'm gonna be making videos on planting these guys, updating you on my garden journey. I'm really new into gardening. I'm very excited to share all of this with you guys, and I hope to see you in the next video. XOXO MM. Oh look, I have a credit of $1.93. I don't know why, but cool.